Now, when Alabama's Supreme Court defined frozen embryos as children last week, the shock and confusion was immediate. Many fertility clinics have paused treatments over fears they could be prosecuted. While the ruling doesn't ban IVF, it's created confusion, but also division among Christian groups in a conservative state that has already banned abortion. Here's Norma Iqbal. I feel like I'm going to get teary. Um, For Margaret, the politics has become personal. This ruling should not add anxiety onto something that's already just, just so hard and anxiety inducing and just so taxing on you. Like she and her husband have a young son and want to build their family. They've turned to IVF and were just days away from her first appointment. Margaret describes herself as pro-life but finds the ruling difficult to comprehend. The Chief Justice used the Bible to justify his reasoning on why frozen embryos are children. Some anti-abortion groups celebrated, describing it as a pro-life win. I don't think there is anything more pro-life than couples who are doing everything in their power, everything in their control. You know, the doctors doing everything in their power and their control to try to create that new life. It's like nobody understands more that you know, that embryo is not a child more than the person that is yearning for that embryo to be a child. The Alabama Supreme Court ruled that an existing law in the state, wrongful death of a minor, covers not just fetuses in the womb, but embryos held in a lab or storage facility as well. Each of these tanks has stored eggs and sperm and embryos, and we can't go in. Dr. Beth Melizia is co-founder of Alabama Fertility. Like many clinics, they've paused new treatments while they get legal clarity. We're doing all of our usual routine things. We have a hold on a couple of things um, that we are holding in the laboratory for patient and, and our safety, but we're here, we're here to stay. We are gonna fight this. In the days after Alabama's Supreme Court ruling, there was huge reaction from politicians across the country. But it's local lawmakers here who are under pressure to come up with a solution. Republicans in Alabama plan to introduce a bill to protect IVF, but it's tricky. They can't alienate those who support the ruling and those who are disturbed by it. We're going to find a fix. You know, just just don't worry about it uh, as little or worry about it as little as you can because we're going to find an answer. Hopefully clinics will be open soon and you can get back to your normal infertility issues instead of worrying about access. Has the intervention by former President Donald Trump put pressure on you? No, or anybody else. I mean, Biden came out, Haley's come out. Let's just get it right. Democrats in the minority here sense an opportunity, but also danger. Those other, other uh, countries and other places that consider themselves to be extremely conservative uh, could follow suit. We want to make certain that we're, we're getting ahead of that and, and righting the wrong here in Alabama, ground zero. This is ground zero right now. First it was abortion, and now this ruling has opened a new battlefront in reproductive rights. Republicans want to minimize the controversy, Democrats want to tie them to it. Nomi Bell, BBC News, Alabama.